Hello, hello friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today is day two of my Creative Times August release and it's all about Halloween. And you guys, I've been having a blast, like I said in my last video, which was yesterday. Um, uh, this has been so much fun. <laughs> so let me show you the products. We had a lot to sneak for you yesterday. Today is not as many, but trust me, they all sort of go together. It's just so awesome. So, um, we have a new embossing folder and this one is the Boo embossing folder and you can see the little Boo in the bats. Absolutely adorable. And don't forget, we will have these enamel dots and these are some of the these are some reuses of the new products that I I have. So anyway, the Boo embossing folder, we're sneaking that one. This is the new cute little ghost one. You guys look at this. I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see. There's three different sizes and these are amazing. So cute. Let me get them up where you guys can see them. So you get three different size ghosts. And then you get these pieces that you can layer on the back of their little faces. Um, or you can cut a circle. Whatever you want to do. But, I mean, she did include these. And I think that's awesome. So, so cute. I love their expressions. I love that you got them facing the opposite way. Uh, one great thing about that is if you're a person that, you know, you do a project that you want to be able to finish off the front and the back, then you can, you know, connect the, put your center on the back of one, connect the other one, and then it's finished on both sides. So super cute because they are literally just mirror images. So super cool that you can do that. I absolutely love these little ghosties. They're cute. They're a little bit different. I mean, you don't see this type of ghostie all the time. I love that they have their cute little scary arms. And these little lines that cut into their faces is really, really cute. I think that's what makes them really unique. We are also um, having the, sorry, I've got this upside down. This is the Triangle Treat Box. And this makes a really cute, fun um, treat box. And um, it it comes together so fast because literally the whole box is one piece. You run it through and then the others are just layers. And then you just have to decorate it. It's so cute. So the ghost, the triangle, uh, treat, bag, treat box, and then the new boot embossing folder. In addition to, I've also used, of course, the label plates, the enamel dots, the fancy slider, the spooky stamps, and the paper pads. These are so cute. Now, I don't have as many projects to show you guys today with the ghosts because a lot of the ones that I'm going to be sneaking for you are also um, paired with new products that we can't sneak until tomorrow. So I only have three projects for you guys today. So this one should go pr pretty quick. Now, first and foremost, I think the very first thing I cut out when I got everything, well, no, the first thing I cut out yeah, I can't show that one to you till tomorrow. But this was the second thing I cut out, and I think it's so cute. This is that little triangle tree box, and I just turned it into a little witchy hat. That's all I did. I just added some tool at the bottom, some trim, one of those little sentiment plate um, dies, and then the, one of the stamps, a little cabochon from my stash. This is her little, um, she has a 3D bat bow. It's adorable. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, there's, there's little bats. And then this box just opens. I mean, it, okay, from the bottom. So you can fill it with treats, whatever you want to do. Super cute. I've got a sneak of this one for you guys um, tomorrow as well. I couldn't show it today because it has tomorrow's product in it. And you guys, it's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, I just think this turned out adorable. You could do this in all different colors. I just did it in the black and white because I thought it would be cute as a little display. I just think it's really, really adorable super cute then I did use the slider card again and this time I used the bat rosette die I don't know if you can see that or not but there's little bats in the rosette and um, there's some tool and then I layered one of our circle dies on it and then I got a couple little ghosties tucked in there I've got a spider I can't remember which set the spider came from but I know it's one of ours but anyway and then I've got that little plate again and then it just says boo. I like how it says open if you dare. And then when you open it, it just says boo. <laughs> I just think that's super simple and fun. Now this one is kind of a thick card because, um, you know, I've got that rosette on it. So you probably couldn't just pop this in an envelope and put it in the mail. You'd have to put it in like a bubble mailer or something. But it's super cute. Or hand deliver it, you know. And then last but not least, and you guys, I feel like this is such a short video compared to yesterday's. But tomorrow's is going to be long. <laughs> so... 
you know, when you sit down tomorrow to watch my videos, make sure you have a cup of coffee or something. So I use some of our little circle dies. This is the three inch circle die and I've layered it with some of the other dies. The circle dies that we have, I've used that really cute paper. This has got the bats and like scripting on it. And then on the flip side, it is this um, really cute plaid. So I've just popped two of my little ghosties in there. I've used those enamel dots. I love those enamel dots. I don't know if you noticed, but I've used those on all my projects. So there's little enamel dots everywhere. But um, this little ghostie, these little ghosties, you can't tell about the lines because I did do this on um, glitter paper. But the ones that you're going to see tomorrow, you will see some tomorrow and you'll be able to see all that cute little detail. So... I think this is super cute, super fun. This would be an easy card, you know, if you're doing a swap or something and you're sending boo mail, like this is perfect for boo mail because this is small. So you could just put your little card on the top, you know, to your recipient and I just think it's cute. I think it's adorable. So again, we've got that adorable, adorable treat box die. And then we've got these ghosties. And you know what? You don't see my the boo embossing folder. And I do apologize for that. I did use it, but I can't show it to you guys yet. I can't show it to you till tomorrow. I'm so sorry. I just realized that I didn't have that on any of these. I do have it. <laughs> I have used it, but I can't show it to you till tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow, I will have the last day of sneaks. And it's an amazing, amazing, amazing um products as well but um, I also am going to have that little video like I said before on how to do that uh, take that large treat box and make it into um, a three-dimensional you know kind of card a, a interactive card and so there'll be two videos tomorrow and then on Friday I'm going to do a full wrap of everything so make sure you tune in for that because it's a lot of stuff a lot a lot of stuff super cute um, if you just want to see pictures of this or you want to save pictures or whatever, I will have all this posted on my Instagram as well. So um, don't forget to hop on over there and check everything out. Also, um, you know, like I said, there is an Insta hop and a YouTube hop. And, you know, we, we put in uh, winners for both sides. So don't forget to comment and hop to the other girl's pages and look at all their amazing inspiration i can't wait to see everybody's stuff i'm super excited to see what everybody made um because i know i had such a great time with it and i'm sure they did too but anyway so this is all the cuteness i have for you guys today so check back in with me tomorrow for another little crafty chat and a tutorial and some shares and all kinds of fun stuff so anyway until the next crafty video happy crafting guys